Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's a pretty decent day out. It's 1041. Let's see. It's only 53 degrees, but after roasting my ass off in the hotel room last night, it was very welcome to walk outside to that, like, nice, fresh, cool spring air. So I woke up this morning and was happy to know that I woke up earlier than I thought I did because I thought I woke up late and I'm like oh crap now I gotta run or, you know I gotta rush and everything but I didn't have to I was perfectly fine so I left the hotel room had a good meeting and then I decided to stick to my guns about being healthy and I think I cut most of that out yesterday uh, I may or may not have either way I, I have gotten to a point where some shit's happening that I need to make myself go 110% in again about being healthy. And I'm not talking about losing weight and all that stuff. I'm talking about being healthy. Losing the weight will come with it. So I've been eating a, a very strict type of diet instead of the shit that I've been eating for the past three years. So I'm back on that now. And one of the things is that I got to stop skipping meals, you know, before I get crazy hangry, you know, by the time I eat. So I left my meeting this morning and I went to the Bob Evans and I found something that, that uh, I was able to piece together and tell them to leave certain things off and it was quite delicious. So I had a really good breakfast and now I'm actually going to have my meeting with the first guy that I was supposed to have the meeting with yesterday. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be heading there and it's gonna take me uh, like a, a half an hour total. I've already been driving for a little bit so I got 20 minutes to go to get there. I'm going to check out this new facility. They built a new multi-million dollar facility. I'm kind of stoked to see how it all looks because their last place was friggin' tiny and there was never any parking and it was a pain in the ass. So hopefully that's been remedied now. I need to start paying attention. Traffic is friggin' crazy and these people are all nuts. So we'll pick this back up when I'm, when I'm heading home to VB. All right, kids. Uh, I was not expecting that to happen, but I was at that dealership for a long time I thought I was just going to go in and do a quick you know once over of the facility and all that stuff and then I'm staying there to get all the enrollment forms that we had to get so technically I would have been going back to Virginia Beach around 10 I would have already been home by now now I'm just leaving so it's going to be a while before I get home so now I got a nice leisurely three plus hour drive home and then I could chill for a little bit. So rather than blather on, I'll just drive on. Obviously, I'm in the tunnel. It took me a long time to get to the tunnel. It will take me a long time after I get out of the tunnel to still get home, like 45 minutes, even though it's only 27 miles. <laughs> it's actually going to take me a little bit longer because once I get through the tunnel, I turn off the highway, which you all know because the highway sucks. All right, so it was a long day that wasn't supposed to be. Again, because I was only supposed to have one meeting this morning, and I circled back and ended up staying at that dealership for pert near three hours. I should have been home three hours ago. And again, that's okay because I got a lot of shit accomplished and that'll save me time in the long run. So good to go there. I got a lot to do for day job stuff. Some of it I might actually have to do tonight just so that I don't have a shit ton to do tomorrow and Friday, but there's a lot to be done and I'll get it done. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. At least it's nice here. Nice in regards to it's sunny it's 64 degrees. Again, I knew it was supposed to go down to the 60s this week, and that's perfectly fine. It feels good. Like I said, it felt good when I walked out this morning after roasting my ass off in the hotel room, and I've had the AC on to the point of my wife would probably be sitting there blubbering about how cold it is, and I'm perfectly slightly uncomfortable, which is how I have to be to drive long distances like this so I don't get cozy and fall asleep. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm looking up ahead as we're starting to go into the upswing of the tunnel, and it looks like there's a, a rrr, like a lot of smoke, haze? Don't, don't really know what that is. I mean, it couldn't be exhaust, but yeah, it's really 
almost kind of concerning <laughs> that, it's, that there's this much of this smoke in here. I don't know if we just got somebody up ahead of us that seriously needs a new exhaust or what, but yeah, not something you want to see in a tunnel. All right, anyways, I really don't have an, an awful lot to say. I know yesterday's video was like not even three minutes long. That's actually because by the time I got to the hotel after dinner and all that stuff and I did the work that I was doing, I was ready to go friggin' lay down because I was just beat and then I was like, ah, oh, shit, I didn't do my video. So I ended up just having to throw that together real quick. Probably gonna get the same thing for this one today because what can I show you when I spend the entire day in the car? Still a lot of that haze out here. Definitely we had to have been behind somebody with like a shitty exhaust. Good thing I had it on recirc and I didn't inhale any of it that I know of. All right, so we're through the tunnel now. Speed is picked up. Doesn't matter because I'm still getting the hell off the highway because, yeah, no. I don't know what's going on. I haven't really looked at the weather because, you know, I don't, there's no point in looking on the weekend to see what's going to happen on Thursday. But new toys should be here tomorrow and I'm going to go pick up a bunch of new toys now. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.